reoffend, and um, the quicker he's off the streets, the better. A sex offender living in our community, and no one was keeping tabs on him. Tonight, that man is in the El Paso County Jail, waiting to meet with a judge. Hello, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Shannon Bernias. And I'm Don Ward. This is something any of us might worry about. Crime Stoppers reporter Lori Martin is live in security near Maine and security. And Lori, you were there for his recent arrest. A mother of four says he was staying with her. Don, that's right, but those children reportedly were not seen here at the time. Despite that, though, there are kids in this neighborhood, and now they have a bounty hunter to thank for arresting John Jacobus. We're there when he's handcuffed, escorted by police, and hauled off to jail. John Jacobus is reportedly seen in this apartment complex in southern Colorado. There's plenty of other kids here in the apartment, down the street. Bounty hunter James Allen tracked down the wanted sex offender from New Jersey with an arrest warrant for violating parole. When we looked through his court documents, the New Jersey Probation Department says John Jacobus has a high risk of reoffending when he drinks. He seemed pretty drunk when he left here tonight. Had he been drinking? A little. Susan Spangel tells me Jacobus had been seen at her home for a while. She says she was the only person watching him. Do you know he's a sex offender? No. Once the camera was off, though, she told me she knew. New Jersey State Police say Jacobus is a convicted sex offender with an M.O. of exposing himself to children and trying to lure them into the bathroom. Jacobus apparently fled to Colorado a few weeks ago. He got himself busted, though, when he got online. We watched him on cam last night. We watched him on cam in his apartment, so we knew he was here. That conversation in a chat room called Pal Talk led Alan to write to Jacobus that wanted sex offender is off the streets for now. <laughs> on Tuesday, Jacobus will go in front of a judge here in El Paso County. What happens after that really depends on New Jersey. They have to determine whether or not if this charge is serious enough to extradite Jacobus back. And Donna Chen, of course, I'll be following this case and let you know what happens early next week. Okay, good for that, Lori. Thank you.